The differences between Blender and B4Artists. First, let me point out where B4Artists is equal to Blender, or at least should be equal in the very most cases. It's the feature set. B4Artists has the same feature set than its version pedant in Blender. The current B4Artists version is based at Blender 2.76, and has the same functionality. Minus the game engine, which I had turned off. This will change in future versions. The next B4Artist version will have the game engine on board again. What is also the same is how things works. It is Blender under the hood, and it will remain Blender under the hood. It reads and writes Blender files, and when you switch the interaction mode to Blender, then you can even have B4Artists like Blender in most cases, means you can even watch Blender tutorials and adopt it to be for artists. This can be done here in the interaction. Simply switch to Blender, then you have the Blender hotkeys. What is different is the user interface, as you can clearly see here. Now let's have a look at the details. What are the real differences? Well, b for artists has a new splash screen, that's what makes it a fork. And that's it. Nah, jokes aside, there is much more. It all starts with the usage philosophy, hotkeys. The Blender usage is hotkey-centered. Every fart is hotkeyed. And the hotkey map is a mess. You have single hotkeys to cycle through menus like this. And you have monster hotkeys for very common stuff like set origin. Now let's have a look at B4Artists. Again, the usage is menu-centered. It has a completely new hotkey set with as few assigned hotkeys as possible. That way you can assign the hotkeys that you really need. And we have left mouse select by default. To show what I mean, you can really work with left mouse button. What a relief! b artists is much more beginner friendly. It has a much better readable standard theme in general. Well, this blue might not be the favorite theme for everybody, but is simply much better readable than the gray in gray with low contrast from Blender. Just to give you a look at it again. While at the standard theme it is much cleaner organized, the tabs are closed by default. Before Artists has icon buttons in the tool shelf, which reduces the scrolling dramatically. Just to show you what I mean, you can turn the text button's on again. Happy scrolling. Let's turn them off again. b artist has more than 300, again, 300 double menu entries removed. Most obvious ones is the whole add menu from here, which also exists in the tool shelf. b artist has around 100 new menu entries for formerly hotkey-only tools, including very obvious and necessary tools like the search toolbar. The menus are much better organized. For example, this navigation menu here was formerly part of the view menu and hard to find. And we have zoop tabs in the tabs. The not so often used things are hidden. Let's show what I mean at the random menu. This is how it looks in B4 Artists for rendering. You can see here the subtabs. Everything disturbing is hidden. And this is how it looks when you try to do the same. And ah, again at searching. That's what I mean. I am just at searching again and again. 
Now as for some finer details. The first thing to point at is the important hotkeys add-on. It shows you the most important hotkeys up left. Here you have an overview of the hotkeys that you need. In B4 Artists, you can hide the 3D cursor. This is this strange little thing in the middle. You can hide away the whole ground grid. And this also in orthographic views. Gone. Delete now deletes everything without asking again. In Blender it looks like this. Confirming again and again. We have wireframe colors. This is a, uh, here we are, this is display under the options. And here you can set up wireframe colors. We have things like the mini light lib, which is a standard asset library, so that you don't have to invent the wheel from scratch again. Same counts for materials. Ah, close it, here we are. Cycles materials, and here you have dappled stuff to play with. We have tab buttons for quick navigation. For example, to switch to another layout. This is the former way, scroll around in this drop-down box, and this is the new way, quickly switch between the layouts. Those layouts are reorganized. Scripting, for example, has now a file menu and looks much cleaner. We have tabs to switch quickly between NLA, Dope Sheet and Graph Editor. And plus many few more details, like this um, mode menu here. You can click between the modes here with this button. Well, this was a quick overview of the differences. I hope you enjoy it. Have fun.